Hello and welcome to Beer School. I'm Mabiel and with me as always is Manderson. Today what, what we're going to be talking about is a simplification on the brewing process with beer. Um, so one of the first steps when it comes to brewing is to mill the grain, which is to pretty much crush the uh, malts and everything that you're going to be using for your brew together into a sort of uh, powdery but kernel mixture um, so it's easy to be fermentable into sugars. Yeah, the next step would be taking that product and um, mixing it with water in a process called mass conversion. Um, and then uh, that is basically used to break it down into sugar. Yeah. Um, and then a third step would be the uh, laudering step, and that separates the wort from the uh, grain husks that are left over. Yeah, and then the wort is transferred into a kettle. Uh, when the kettle is trans uh, brought to a boil, uh, right before the hops are added. Okay. Um, and that at that point it goes off to the wort separation and cooling uh, kettle. Um, so after the boiling process, um, it's transferred over into a whirlpool uh, to separate the wort. And during that stage, any malt or hops uh, particles that are left over get removed um, from the liquid to be uh, ready to be cooled and fermented. Yep. And to start the fermentation, uh, they add they add yeast to it, um, filling the vessel. Um, the yeast works by converting the sugary wort into beer by producing alcohol. Uh, that's what the fermentation does. Uh, a wide range of flavors and stuff is added at this point uh, to make it beer-like. Yep. And then after that process is the um, maturation stage. So after the fermentation, the just newly brewed beer uh, needs to be matured in order to allow both a full you know, development of the flavors and everything that were added in the process before. Yep, and then right after that is basically it is beer, but now it's just filtered and carbonated and uh, in the process of being ready to ship out. Yeah. Um, so that's pretty much just a quick rundown of how beer is brewed. Uh, it's very broad, like it can get much more technical uh, with that. Um, but on the note of brewing beer, home brewing has become more popular over the past few years, mainly because of the uh, availability of the beer products like the malts and hops and all that, and also the tools and um, uh, boilers and just everything you need to brew beer has become widely available. Uh, I know I looked into brewing beer at my house um, just because of how much I like beer and running out to the store and spending six to 12 bucks pretty much weekly could be mitigated by brewing like 72 bottles or more mm -hmm. um, of beer in my own house. Uh, but a couple people have said brewing beer is pretty difficult um, and very time consuming. So before you actually go and buy all this equipment, which can be up to upwards of $200, I believe, um, to lo look in your local area to see if there's a store that actually has you brew beer. Um, I know there's one around me, and I went down for my birthday a couple years ago, and they walk you through the process of uh, picking up all the malts and hops and um, everything that you need in the beginning process, and then you put it into the uh, first vet, and after that they take care of the rest of the brewing process and put it into um, a barrel for storage for a couple weeks and then after that you come back and that's when you bottle the beer and do the rest of it put on your labels and caps and everything so that's a good way to figure out if you like to brew beer or even if that's sort of a hobby to get into yep that that would be a cool way to do it kind of like a class um, and like you mentioned yep. the brewing beer if you want to do it at home it can have a, a nice initial cost let's say it can be upwards of two hundred dollars maybe more depending on how 
how much you want, how big you want to go. Um, to start with, you'd probably stay a little under that. Um, and it does take a lot of time. You think you're going to start brewing beer today and have a beer ready tomorrow. It's not going to happen. It'll be probably at least a month, six weeks, eight weeks sometimes uh, before it's ready to drink. So uh, there's some investment involved in it. And it is time consuming, but it can be a lot of fun. Yep. And the also good note on that is you can experiment with different flavors and different styles and see which one uh, that you enjoy the most and actually like. And then you can go break off and go into competitions and things like that if you wanted to. Yep, but most people just down. do it for yeah. Yep. So most people just do it for their own personal joy and also to give to their friends and family. Mm-hmm. So. Um, but yeah, so that's a basic thing on brewing beer. And if you're interested, make sure you go out and do a lot of research on what actually goes into the brewing process and all that. Um, but until next time, go talk smart to your friends about beer. <laughs>